So there was this person on there who went by the name True Brit something something. Now I, just like today, it was easy to smack around randos that didn't know what they were talking about. But there was a certain cast of people on there who were effective people at arguing left-wing perspectives. I thought I was better, but nonetheless, I would say, okay, this person's responding. It's going to be a back and forth. They're going... To... One of these people was this true Brit person, who I believe was a communist, I can't remember. But, despite disagreements, I enjoyed interacting with this person because they challenged me. Unlike most of the people that just one lines and... So after Charlottesville, and we're going to get specifically to Charlottesville, but after it, um, True Brit takes to and says, start saying some crazy shit. And basically the argument they make in public, on a public forum, is as follows. Look, Trump's clearly a Nazi. His supporters are clearly Nazi sympathizers. And all options should be on the table to keep them from power. So I start going back and forth. I'm like, what do you mean all options? You know what I mean. I'm like, no, spell it out. Well, first, politically, we try to keep them out of power. Okay, but let's say that doesn't work. Trump's president, after all. Let's say it looks like he's going to win again in 2020. Now what would you do? Well, clearly, based on how much power they could get, the measure of the response increases. Is violence on the table? Yes. Against Trump? Yes. If it means stopping him from winning in 2020. Against his supporters? Yes. If it means that that would prevent them from enacting what they want. And what level of violence? Well, as much as it would be needed to stop them. I said, okay, you punch a couple of them. And this isn't verbatim, but it's basically, this is how the back and forth's going. I say, you punch a couple of them, it's not changing. What are you willing to do? Are you willing to execute them? And he says, yes! Given the situation where I'm afraid that they would obtain power, yes, we may have to, ex we may have to take them out. And I'm fucking stunned. That's 70 million people, at least. And this dude is blatantly, he feels comfortable to be in an online forum, talking to me, who sparred with him back and forth many, many times, like, yeah, we may have to execute you and everyone you know. There's moderators on this channel. Now, I'm not saying, hey, remove these posts, but I'm like, holy shit. You get, everybody cool with this? This is on this site right now? You cool with this? And everyone's like, well, he's not directly calling for violence. He's saying, given the hypothetical situation where Nazis would come into power, we would need to kill them. And I was like, but he's saying Trump is a Nazi and Trump supporters. And he's saying they are in power. And he's saying we must do everything to stop them winning in 2020. Now, this is very similar. I talked about this yesterday when I go on Jay Stock's panel. And I'm like, hey, can we have a framework that says we have to condemn... We, we can, a non-starter is someone saying, actually, I hope that my political opponent is assassinated. That's a non-starter. Fuck you, no. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat. I don't give a shit. No. That is outside the scope of the framework of what we should entertain in a debate. That's it. And I say, so if... Destiny, for example, is saying he wanted Trump to be taken out. Fuck him. If he's just telling edgelord jokes, that's different. I'm, your mileage may vary. You say, too late, I don't care. But to me, there's a huge difference in edgelord jokes or saying, haha, the Trump supporter died, I don't give a shit, versus, yes, I want them to be taken out. There's a huge difference there. When I say this and Jay Stock's like, well, you know, if he just says that he wishes that that bullet would have killed Trump, that's not bad. Now, as long as he's saying he doesn't want another person to attempt, what the fuck are you talking about? How is this hard? No! Assassination attempt's wrong! That's it! society are we living in but rob joe biden's an incredible threat and menace he might destroy the no i would never call for violence against him period 
If there was an attempt on his life, I would be appalled. I would call it out in the strongest possible terms. I wouldn't say, well, this isn't difficult. Again, let me remind you all, please don't go out and do anything extreme or say that vengeance needs to be brought against these people. I understand that's frustrating. You could tell I'm a little heated. But please, the violent rhetoric, the violent actions, all of this is morally unjustified and you will fuck up your life. Don't do it. There's more important things. But my God, 